Benny? Uh, Benny? What are you doing all... What are you doing here? While well, I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. What? What the? Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. This is... Okay, he must be very pissed that I hate his potato mochi. <laughs> You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is what you're meant to be used them. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh, I am so glad I hated your potato mochi. <laughs> One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques and has been left to molder all these long years. Wow. Holy crap. Galaxy Team Benny's challenged you to battle. Holy crap. Dang this Benny dude. Oh my god! Alright, here we go. Hypnosis! Oh no. Shadow Claw! Come on, listen, Hudo. Yes! Yes! Yes, good job, Hudo, good job! Gardevoir! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Strong style! Hudo! Oh, Hudo! It's okay, Hudo. Alright then. Zorak, come out! <laughs> Shadow Claw! Agile style! Good job, good job. Snarl! Agile style! Good job, Zark. Two more Pokemon. Two more, two more, two more. Well, Gallade. <laughs> well, increasing this attack. Strong style. Oh no, my goodness. Oh! All right then. Ah, uh, the most effective ones are out. Ah, uh, this is not good. Max revive Poodle. Poison jab him. Poison him. Critical hit. Oh, thank God. Max potion. Of course. Of course, they would use max potions. Poison jab again. Agile style. Oh, he's gonna attack twice. Yeah, he's gonna attack twice. That's a game over right there. Yeah. Thank you, Gallade. Alright, Hoodle. Let's go, Hoodle. Shadow Claw. Finish it off. Right, last Pokemon, Hoodle. Last Pokemon. Last Pokemon. Oh, Sneasler. Oh, shoot. Oh! Drowsy! Oh, shoot. Spikes, please listen to me, Spikes! Oh, yes, at the very least he got splinters. That's good. You done all you can, Hoodle. Come back. Snorlax, come out. Alright. High horse power, strong attack! Bam! Woo! <laughs> this fight was amazing! Wow, Benny, you're strong! Seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. <laughs> oh my god! Benny, you're such a badass! Wow! I respect your potato mochi even more now. I'd like to have some. <laughs> Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Zorn. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burn to the ground by a maddened Pokemon running amok. 
We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Isui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. That's why? But to achieve something truly great, we sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetically as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Okay, are you trying to kill me for revenge? Or make me, like, okay, are you gonna shove it aggressively to the point where I die just because I hate your potato mochi? I respect your potato mochi even more. Okay, Benny, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, that battle with Benny was awesome. That battle with Benny was awesome. Here we are, guys. Oh my god. Here we are. We're most likely gonna be beat a Commander Kamado. You brought the red chain? Yes, I got the red chain. Zorin, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon, that's apparently been sighted through the rift. I, I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Oh my god. This is definitely... Oh my god, are we definitely gonna fight Arceus? I thought all this time it would be Giratina that would be, like, the one causing the lightning. Commander! Wow, you look badass. You again. I heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together. Keeping it as it meant to be. A welcome idea. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? What? Do you even think even the red chain is some trick on Zorin's part? He worked mightily to get that thing. And I should know. I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trials set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted all that on his own, then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you are right, but if you were simply to place my faith on this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. I knew it. Face me with your Pokemon, Zorin. Today we battle in earnest. Alright, Commander. As you wish. As you wish, Commander. I'm gonna set out a better music for this. Let's go, Hoodle. Shadow Claw, that Bravery! Oh my god, that was so close! Ah, Shadow Claw again! Really? Quick attack? Uh oh, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Thunder Fang. Agile style. Good job, Luxray. Come on. Come on, Kamado. Snorlax. Oh. -ho -ho. Strong style. Uh oh. High horse. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh my god, why? Oh my god. This is not good. Close combat, agile style! Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Do your worst, Giga Impact. Oh, wow! Wow, 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 okay. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, you zowie. I regret this. Triple arrows! Agile style! Good job, good job, good job, Pudo, good job, Pudo. Two more, two more, two more! A feeble! 
Uh oh. Come mine. Okay, triple arrows, agile stop. Get a second turn, but still damage her. Oh god, that's not much. Okay. Oh, is it... these these final battles are intense. Poison jab. Yes. Good job. Good job, Galeen. Uh oh, Golem. Close close combat. Regular. Yeah. Woo! Good job, Galeen. I am I am glad I caught you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness sake. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Oh. Commander. Zorn. The fates have decided. I concede. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer. But please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. No, for the sake of the Celestial people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Of course, Commander. Don't worry, Commander. We got the red chain. Fuck, man. Am I even ready? I don't even know anymore. Oh, am I ready? I have no goddamn clue. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm ready, but we'll see. Weird Deer, Clevor, Ursaluna, Lilligant, Asclegian, Arcanine, Sneasler, Electrode, Reveri. An Avalog. <sighs> oh my god. Here we go. You can do this, Ern. I believe in you. It is time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. In my head. Something's talking inside my head. Huh? What? You hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then, human. Uh, Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh! I, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me! Uh it's telling me... You hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then human. For the fight to come. Take these. Huh? Ten Ultra Balls. Oh, thank you! Thank you, I bought more, though. Thank you. Uh oh. What is that specifically? That Dialga. Oh, is it because I- wait a minute. Is it because I chose Adamant? But why can't it just be both? Red Chain. Oh! Did- Did it work? Uh oh. All right, all right, Dialga, Iron Tail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right then, triple arrows. Go, Hudo. All right. Oh my God, the freaking drums in this. Go. Come on, please catch, please catch one, catch one, catch one. Oh my god! War of time! Uh oh! Ah. Oh. Okay, Ultra Ball. Please, Dialga. 
Catch, 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 catch. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god. Yes, I caught it. I caught it. This is very anticlimactic. <laughs> what the heck? That's it? He caught it. The red chain has shattered. But we owe the Pokemon of the lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Wait. It's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No. It's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. What? You're telling me there's another one? <gasps> oh, yeah. oh my god, we're fighting all of them! But the red chain smashed to bits! No way even Zorin can tackle another Pokemon as strong as the last one now! Oh god. It's even seeing Commander Kamada so confused. Oh my god. Palkia! The almighty Sinnoh of space. Holy crap! <laughs> this is bad, but we don't have the red chain! Oh my god. So wait, are you telling me that these Pokemon- Are you telling me that these frenzies are- Like- I need Pokemon's roar to play. <laughs> All of you. We must vacate this. Gah! Forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we gotta make it to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But, Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce? You won't be any use if you anybody die up here in the mountain. What you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Oh, God. How the heck? Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Zorn. And did you notice the energy pouring out the rift? It seems like that built up of the same energy that was caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into frenzy state. It, they are being controlled! I can't believe that they're really two almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans were really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Zorn. And to you, Zorn. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardships alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Oh, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had your reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state other than Temple. A dependable attitude indeed. Let us move on. No need to speak any further of my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Zorin about has been good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd had no choice getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it though. How is he to keep fighting? The red chain has shattered. Relax, I got a plan. Thanks to all what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga? The Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name. It also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least, the pieces anyway, 
I did collect them. Nice, nice. Good job, Arita. And the vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say that might refer to the Pokeball. That's got to be it! But what about the stone of creation bean part? What are your thoughts, Professor Lamington? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? <sighs> oh! Upon my word, perhaps I do! Zora, my boy! Could you lend me those plates you received from White Deer and the others? The ones that Volo said had message engraved them on them? Aha! Just as I remembered. Here's the back of the earth plate, it says. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. Ah! What do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that share the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Lian might know just where to find such a thing, as he said when investigating and Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow come round the diamond settlement asking about those plates before too. This seems like a lead worth following. Oh my god, there's more to this game! <laughs> but can I finish it? It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the stones of creation beginning. Although the name is rather novel, wouldn't you say I propose we call it Origin Ore? The counterpart. <laughs> oh my god, now we're gonna find the Infinity Stone of Creation. Okay, okay. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Lian to the summit camp at once. Okay, thank god I don't have to go to him. <laughs> I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect it, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you with all unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Edelman, I see that all other louts have their little task to be getting gone with. But with the great Melly, where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adaman, and make it a good one. <laughs> you want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint! Oh, Adaman. Oh, you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they have suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, since you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Thanks? Thanks, I guess? Take this as a reward for your affordable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're so little compared to me. Ay ay ay. Three candy truffles, really? Really? I brought Liam. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. <laughs> wow. Wow. I should be the one consulted by for wisdom. His sweet ores and stones are a precious resource. Since I was first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Clever in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than... <laughs> that I get it now. Bumbling ball. I thought it was the Pokeball, not the not Electra. <laughs> that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both of you and ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? <laughs> Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the pro clan folk for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adaman! Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact you've spoken to Almighty Sinnoh or Mighty Dialgo or whatever. This is the Dialing Clan's day. Be proud. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us get out at once. We make for Primeval Grotto? Primeval Grotto? Alright then. Hold on, before I continue, I need to set up- I need to get the thing. Uh, see to my Pokemon. I might have to cut up in two parts! Oh my god! Two finales! Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do it in two finales, aren't I? Alright then, stop recording. Oh, Jesus. Got a Primal Grotto. 
God, I swear Garatina is gonna have to make his appearance. I, I'm pretty darn sure. What the frick? Like, like, let, let, let go. Okay. Whoa. Is this it? Is this it? What a curious cave. I feel extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very space or place. What do you think, Leon? Hmm. I think you'd better leave an extraction work up to us. What'd you say? Mm hmm. I'm counting on you, Leon. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, God! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I totally forgot about these three. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't even have time to waste with... Clover? We, we haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? Wait, Clover's been in the clan? Huh, I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you're hard to follow. What we seek may be precious treasure, but this isn't how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, that earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Ah, I see. Clover from the Diamond Clan, Coin from the Pearl Clan. And Charm is from the Galaxy Team. Interesting. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit. And I don't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Zorin. You take Charm. Alright, Charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. And I'll luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest. And I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this battle of a lifetime. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go, Bandit Charm. Right on. Let's go, Hoodle. We still have two Pokemon. That's good. <sighs> Agile style. Triple arrows. Stats, okay. Okay, Spikes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, thank god I have no... Thank god there's no weakness that you got, you have. Okay, you're gonna bring out Gengar? And of course, Hypnosis. Kudo, I know you're feeling sleepy and woozy. But, by the Prince of Dreams, I allow you to use Shadow Claw to finish- Oh, God. Uh-oh. Who no? Who no? Uh-oh. It's okay, Hudo. You're sleepy. It's okay. You're, you're still my favorite owl. Shadow Claw! Strong style! Good job, Zark. Good job. Our job here is done. Well, you're rather formidable. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. We could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Zarin. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Alright, Charm. 
Well, now they use their smoke bombs. <laughs> Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she growls that she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us. Perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have said so. What a pain they are. Hiding behind all that attitude. <sighs> oh, that, 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 adorable! That thing is adorable! Oh my god! What is, what is, what is this Pokemon? It's adorable! I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it's wish you call it. I suppose it had better go with you, Zarn. It's adorable! Piece of origin. Alright. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Leviton got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare despite his silly streak. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I've been recording for hours recently. I've been recording for hours. Wow. This is one hell of an adventure in one day. So this is the stone of creation's beginning. The origin aura. Hmm, yes. One can certainly feel an imposing aura animating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything but the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back to Jubilee Village. This is one hell of a freaking... Here you are, Professor Laventon. What remains of the dread chain, broken as it may be? Splendid. Even in pieces, we'll find it's perfectly fit in for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all those broken bits back to the temple. Your turn, Zern. Next comes the stone of creation beginning. Mm-hmm. Here you go. The fragments of the red chain, collected with great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned by things of the Diamond Clan. And now it is time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into proper vessel. Wow. Akari, my girl. You are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could you ask to do the honors? This is my true battlefield, Zarin. Even if it may be safe indoors. <laughs> this may take some time. I wonder what this new ball would look like. I really am curious now. You okay, Animan? Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurried it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all you're prattling about the value of time is to cover your own impatience. <laughs> If sitting back and waiting actually solves things, I'd sit forever. Because that'd be using time well. Unlike this. We done it! Oh, you done it? Okay. I dub it the Origin Ball. Origin Ball? If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Okay? Whoa! Origin Ball. Whoa, this looks very... eerie. <laughs> Origin Ball. A singular, irreplaceable Pokemon that can be used to catch those frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. Wow! These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Sui could rest in something too tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things could bring the two of you closer together. It seems like Mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength for this fight. That's what's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Mm-hmm. Everything's ready now, Zorin. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. Yep. I have Dialga with me. Oh! Kongita! And here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. Seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. 
The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in history. Eventually, the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time. Therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should be. Now, take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Mm-hmm. I must say, this is quite an intriguing village. Perhaps I'll look around before I go. See what your clothier has an offer. <laughs> Excuse me? Is this the time for shopping? <laughs> well, I'll hardly have time to shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point! <laughs> Alright, Zorin. Once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. This is such a great end. I cannot, I cannot just stop here. No matter what, I catch, I just cannot stop here recording. Because I don't like cliffhangers. That's the reason why I don't like watching my One Piece when the arc is not done. I wonder if I can keep the Orb of Origin. I'm really curious if I can just keep the Orb of Origin. I'm going to save it for Garatina. I'm pretty sure. If I can keep the Origin Orb, I want to save it for Garatina. I'm pretty sure Garatina would be next, if that's the case. For so long, I thought I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Juvelai Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple. I felt it was my own only path. But you showed me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. Hey, Zarn, let's meet tomorrow together. What's that supposed to mean? It's saying we got the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you will both stay safe. Hmm. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. <laughs> we will support you in whatever we can. Though I doubt you'll need it. Zarn, protect Hisui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Oh, holy crap. Such a long adventure. <sighs> Here we are. <sighs> what the heck? What the heck? What's going on? Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Oh, Dioga! Oh my god! Roar of time, go! There. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? Whoa! You are ugly looking, but what the freak? Whoa! Is that an Arceus form? Oh, wait, is that the origin form? I think this is the origin form. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa! Whoa! The music! Woo! Let's party! Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Oh my god! My god, the music is holy! <laughs> the music is holy! Jesus! Where do these space bombs go come from though? Oh my god! <laughs> I really... Wow, this is amazing! finish oh my god 
Uh oh, uh oh. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you've killed me, Pokia. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I was just geeking out, I'm sorry. I was geeking out because the music was lit. High and lit. Restart the battle. I want to hear it more. I want to hear more of it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Let's party. No. <laughs> the music. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta be careful. Another one? Yep. Holy crap, this is this thing's weird looking though. Last few hits, last few hits, last few hits. What's going on? Oh god. There we go! Holy crap! Aw, oh, dang it! Okay, that's fine. Capture! Whoa! <laughs> Two? Three? Oh my god! It did the three twitchings! Oh my god! This is- Oh my god! So I guess Garatina is probably something else. Oh my god! <sighs> oh my goodness! That is such a great end! It did the three twitches! He- he caught it! He really did, didn't he? My eyes are lying, right? He actually went and caught it! Yes, oh good show! What a catch! You contained that fearsome thing in the origin ball! Absolutely astounding as ever, Zorn. Thank Sinnoh. Formidable as usual, Zorn. <laughs> Thanks, Akari. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Kamado! So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. <laughs> so did I. Ah, what? 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 <laughs> Ouch! What gives, commander? Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. <laughs> well, at least it seems this is no dream. <laughs> Listen up, all of you. We face the calamity unlike any we have known, but we are able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? <laughs> Yes! Well, since it turns out we were both following in true almighty sin of our own, I guess the time when we'd fight over who was wrong or right, our ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. But this may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate! For today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. Oh. Oh my god. But wait, so the space time rift is gone now. No, my Wi-Fi. Eh, who needs it? Who needs it? 
<sighs> Pokemon Legends Arceus, wow. Oh my god, that was amazing! Like, oh my goodness. I just cannot believe it, that was an amazing finish. That was a tremendous amazing finish. As usual, I'm gonna keep the credits because they deserve this much. Game Freak, the team behind Pokemon Legends Arceus, deserves it because this was great. This was an amazing story, even though there's no co-op battles. Who needs co-op battles? Story-focused games? That's the beauty. That's the beauty. That's where the beauty lies. Oh, I, I rate... Out of 5 stars, I rate this out of... 4 to... 4.5. 4. 4.5. 4. I rate this around that much, because... This game is excellent. Of course, it has some weird parts of it, but that it's so, it's very minor. It is very minor. Majority of this adventure, I just enjoyed it. I just purely enjoyed it. What stopped me from enjoying it was the views. If I didn't have the views to worry about, this would have been a perfect, perfect, perfect adventure. But still, not to say that this wasn't perfect, it is perfect. Because this was an amazing game. Very, very well done. So the main character cannot return. In a sense, would that mean does that mean we're answer we're the ancestors of our descendants, which is us, but wait, this is some weird loop. This is some paradoxical part. What the frick? <laughs> this is paradoxical. Yet I still feel uneasy. I like this music though. I still feel uneasy. I, I, I expected them to be... I expected them to be talking about, like, Garatina. Because Garatina... I'm surprised, yeah, Garatina is not mentioned. Thank you for adventuring with us. Aww. Oh, wow. No, what? Bullox! I'll snap that on my editing. Dang it, man. But yeah. Arc phone is beeping. Oh. Okay. Seek out all Pokemon. Oh, please don't tell me. Please leave a like and subscribe and share this video and the channel to everyone. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.